so obviously it's a derby at the weekend they don't come much bigger than that do they Kirk? No it's, it's a massive game it's, it's always a big game against against OK. like I said it's a derby game and you know on the, on the back of a defeat you know we're really revved up this week to, to you know, put last week right in and get back to winning ways. How do you assess this season so far you know how do you think you're going? Yeah it's been up and down you know the uh, the start wasn't too good I don't think we won a game in the first first four games something like that you know so the start wasn't too good and you know we've picked up of late we went six unbeaten and like say a bit of a nick up at the weekend and um, yeah oh no like I say it's been a bit of a, a bit of a roller coaster season but um, like I say we're, we're we're pretty happy at the moment are we? And you, you know obviously you're not you're not flying incredibly high in the league does that make your your try scoring feats all the more impressive do you think? Um, maybe to people looking from the outside maybe yeah but we know we're a good enough team um, to be higher than we are in the league already. Um, we know we're good enough to be up there with the, with the best teams, so maybe for me personally, no, but from the outside looking in, yeah. Again, you know, he started the season really, really, really strong and he's, he's scoring quite a few tries as well. And, you know, he's been knocking on the door for a few a few years now, he's been you know, consistent for, for OKR for a couple of years. And, you know, like, like I said, there's quite a few players and centres in, in Super League that are playing really well at the moment. We spoke to Kirk Yeaman yesterday, you know, he had in, in some incredible kind words about the way you're playing at the moment. What, what do you make of his game? Obviously, you'll be coming up against him this weekend. Yeah, well, I mean, he's in terrific form at the minute at all, and um, I'm sure he'll be knocking on the door of England soon again. Um, I mean, he's up there with, with trying to try to score, so it just shows how well he's going. Yeah, I'm happy with my form. You know, normally I, I ain't started seasons, you know, too well in the past past year, past, past couple of years, sorry, and... You know, I had, I had a really good pre-season this season, and um, yeah, I'm, at, at this moment in time, I'm, I'm, you know, I've had, I've had a couple of you know quiet games, but um, all in all, you know, I'm pretty happy with my, my season so far. It's very very special in it for the boys in the change room and stuff like that all week, um, they're talking about it, and then there's the press and the people outside of rugby, all the fans, um, having little niggles at you, telling you good luck and stuff like that. It's just massive for the city. Apart from the weekend, I thought our form over the past six weeks has been you know, really good. We went to Warrington. You know, they're, they're the form team in the league at the moment and we turned them over. But um, yeah, going back to the weekend, it was, you know, it was a poor performance by our own standards. You know, that we just couldn't control the ball and in the end it cost us the, cost us the game, in my opinion. So uh, yeah, you know, we'll, we'll review that this week and you know, hopefully put it out against OK. Yeah. And that's a great ball and they're in with Kirk Yeeman. First blood to the black and whites. Fella goes up the middle, Move. takes three with him. Two holes. Josh Hodgson. Former Hull Junior. Dobson quick hands. Wellham and they're in again. Yeah, we did. I mean, it's got a couple of tries down in Cardiff. Um, great experience on them. My first time playing there, so enjoyed it there. And beating them makes it more special again. Um, but as I said last time at the KC didn't go away, we, the team weren't going very well. Um, but I think we've started playing a bit better now this last, this last month or so, so hopefully we'll do the job at the weekend. And obviously I think you can f we can finally say this whole Willie Mason uh, saga has been brushed under the carpet now. Are you, are you glad as a player that you can move on from it and really knuckle down and focus on your rugby? Well, for, for us as players, we didn't really get too much involved. I mean, he was here at the beginning for the first five weeks he played and he was part of the team. and. Then his passport didn't come, Dobson was back, so we had to deregister him and I think the press blew all out of proportion. Uh, but now he's gone, yeah, it's under the carpet, we moved on, don't get talked about now and it's game on. The, the fans are really on top of you down there and you, know, you, you can hear every single thing they're saying to you and you know, believe me, some, some of the stuff I can't really repeat now, but uh, yeah, they, they, they really do you know, get behind the team at, at Craven Park. It is an hostile place, but it's a place that you know, we enjoy going to. And you know it's a derby as well, so you know we you know blank all that out and you know just focus on the rugby.